Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a recurring task. So I've got a blank project plan on the screen, nothing in it, and I'm on the task tab. So this is where we need to go, where it says task, and then in there you've got recurring task. What you don't do is start typing out, well I'll show you what happens if you do, say if I type task one there, and then I go and go into recurring tasks. This box comes up. What this is going to do is going to ignore that completely. So that doesn't become part of this recurring set of tasks. So I'm going to call this planning, like a planning meeting we're having. Now it's going to put a number after each of these. So I'm not going to put any number there. I want this duration to be two hours so two hours every monday and just for this demonstration i'll get it to end after four occurrences and then okay now what you get is that top one there is now just useless so i'll just get rid of that so you don't start typing anything when you're going to use a recurring task so you've got the indicators there planning one two three four and then you can see these markers on the gantt chart now if i click on this little triangle that will show you the summary that's why there's two so that's the recurring task collapsed that's expanded these indicators are just telling you that this got no uh, start no earlier than constraint on because we actually said on a Monday it had to start on a Monday that's the recurring task symbol now if you do it I'm going to do another one uh, back up back across to recurring task and I'll call this review and again it's going to be a two-hour meeting so a review meeting which is going to be every Monday after four occurrences and I, and I want it to two hours I want it to link into this one okay to that so there you go you've got two different sets so the review one goes after planning one so in this case every time there's a planning it's got to be a review meeting so I'm just going to put two in there and you can see the line coming down three four and five and then all the lines come down so you can see where where that's linked and if I just double click on this side and put name there okay so we get to see what is linking to what so planning one and review one are following on planning two, review two, etc etc now you don't have to do that you can create other tasks that can link into these if I go task a give it a, it's a two-day task and that links into the first review meeting so that's going to be an eight so that just links in now all of these tasks that I've done review and this task A. So if I collapse planning, everything disappears. Now you might not want it to sit like that, so I need to outdent this one and maybe outdent that one as well. So it's sitting in its own sort of line. And then if I create a new task at the top, just call it project A. So they're all sitting under that. So I can then indent all of these under that one, that title. So now when I click that, it all collapses. If I click each of these, just their section collapses, but I can still see everything else. And that's how you can do that. So that's just a very quick video on how to use or create a recurring task. So if you've got a long project, for example, where you've got team meetings going on every week, you don't want to type out years worth of team meetings you use the recurring task tool which is there recurring task on the task tab so thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one